a stunning portrait of the vicissitudes of competitive curling. Annyeong Hasu and welcome to Awful Advent, a countdown of 13 holiday horror movies for the 13 days before Christmas. This year's theme is Scary Santas, and our seventh film finally gives us what we've always wanted for Christmas. A professional wrestler as Santa! It's 2005's Santa's Slay. A demon loses a bet with an angel, forcing him to be nice and play the part of Santa for 1,000 years. Now Santa's sentence is coming to an end, and he wants to return to his habit of holiday murder. My summary of this movie, and my memories of it, focus on Bill Goldberg as Santa because that's a great choice. Santa himself is an over-the-top character, and casting a professional wrestler in that role is a great idea. You know the actor is going to go big. Also, the wrestler persona lets the movie lean into absurd levels of violence. To put it another way, Goldberg understood the assignment. Unfortunately, the rest of the movie didn't. I said my memories focus on Santa, but the movie is actually about Nicholas Yulson, a whiny teen who will become our hero in this world of incompetent and unobservant adults. The actor isn't bad, it's just that the character is annoying and doesn't have much to do. And he's our main character. This speaks to how the movie is poorly conceived. Santa is a demon reveling in the opportunity to finally be able to wreak violence upon random people, and then there's comparatively little violence. Yes, he slaughters a family at the beginning of the movie, but that's the flick's best and most energetic scene. Later, he attacks a strip club, he kills the owner of a delicatessen with a menorah which feels, I don't know, not great, and he massacres a police station. But that's about it. The scope of Santa's mayhem is pretty limited, especially considering that he's been waiting 1,000 years to do it. And that's the problem of the movie at its core. It's too small, too contained. Not only do we need more chaos coming from Santa, we need to see more reactions to it. Remember the Nightmare Before Christmas. Jack is passing out dangerous presents and there's immediately widespread spread panic, including the deployment of military forces. We don't see every house Jack visits, but we see the larger effect of what he's doing. In Santa's Slay, the problem isn't that Santa's doing a lot that we don't see, it's that Santa does very little. The movie isn't Santa as a malevolent magical force, it's Goldberg dressed as Santa wreaking havoc. And even that's something I could get behind if the movie was funnier, but as I noted above, the movie's not about Santa, it's about Nicholas Yulson. Did you forget about him since my entire review is just about Santa in this evil Santa movie? Golly, what a shock. Despite a bevy of talent on screen, including Robert Culp as Nicholas's grandfather, as well as a whole host of cameos in the opening sequence, the movie falls flat and it isn't helped by some of the jokes. There are some homophobic lines and that stuff wasn't okay even in 2005. The opening sequence is a hoot and worth finding online, but the rest of the movie never matches its energy. The movie's not something to avoid, but it never lives up to its promise. Three out of five spearing Santas coming off the top rope. Tomorrow, another purveyor of deceptive deliveries. Until then, stay safe and stay spooky.